what's happening at Utopia Farms today. So today we're going to talk about how barns can get quite dirty. You have to use and work with what you have. But at the first drop of rain, they run indoors. Dirty conditions will result in sheep getting ill. You think our barns are bad? You should look at my house. <laughs> Let's get started. As we start morning chores, I see that two sheep got into the chute and are lined up in there. Now, don't ask me how they got in there because we got a gate closed at this end and a gate closed at the other end. Did they go underneath? Like, you gotta wonder sometimes. And right now, I gotta feed the most unlikely of people. Little mister, like you really need a bottle. But he's getting better. Um, we're still topping him up with a bottle because he is not a good eater. Like I still don't see him eating hay or grain or anything. But he has started eating grass. So hopefully he'll start gaining weight a lot better now and we can stop feeding him a bottle. Even the other sheep see. <laughs> They're like, why are you eat why are you drinking a bottle? But he's a special one, so like I said before, I've never seen a lamb that wouldn't eat feed. Okay, you're done. You're done. You're done, sweetheart. Now you're done. You're a silly boy. So today we're going to talk about how barns can get quite dirty. A lot of people are used to seeing people on the internet with sheep out at pasture or in big fresh barns that are brand new like our coveralls here which are always much cleaner than the old century barns but like we always say um, you have to use and work with what you have and we have an old barn so that one is much harder to keep clean although it is clean but it may not appear as clean as these bright white open buildings but um, I'm just gonna show you today how we make sure, despite being in an old barn for lambing, that we do keep things quite clean at our farm. And this is the first weaned group of lambs. They are indoors at night. I'm just knocking down their salt and minerals, which we do every day to make sure this is fresh every day. And we also, make sure they have clean drinkers every day this one you can see overnight has gotten dirty so we'll clean that out so all fresh and clean and now because the weather is good today we let all the sheep out to pasture as well so I'll just open these back gates so even though they're going outside, we do leave them with hay in the feeders because it's good for them to have some roughage. And then they get the grass as well. So kind of the best of the bo both worlds right now for these guys. In the winter, obviously, it's snow covered, mucky, so they're indoors. But at this time of year, it's great. They can go out. Now it's bottle baby time. So they're all waiting at the gate. They know the routine. And there's little Spartacus. He just had his bottle. Look at how tiny he is, but he's doing really well. He's a little crooked legged, but yeah, he had a rough start. And here's my big girls. Hi, that just got weaned. Hi. Some people might think that it's dirt on the suffix wool, but actually suffix are born black. And as they age, their wool turns lighter and lighter and lighter until they're full grown and they look more kind of like the color of that you right here. 
a creamy colored wool. It's uh, quite amazing actually because they are really, really black when they're born. And these girls also are allowed out to pasture, so they get a bit of both. But um, they would be sparkling clean if it rained and they stayed out here. But at the first drop of rain, they run indoors. They want nothing to do with rain. Hi, maybe we can show how your wool changes, can we? See underneath, it's white or cream colored for the suffix. Hi, sweetheart, but you're born white and you stay white. We're just doing afternoon chores. It's another rain day and uh, when it's rainy it gets a little dirtier in the barns so we thought we may as well just put out a little bit more bedding in here. As you know we're always doing that and uh, we're still waiting for the shearer to come and yeah just got a comment from a a loyal viewer <laughs> who told us that our that she can't watch our videos anymore because our barns are so dirty which is just mind-boggling because I find that our farm is extremely extremely clean and like I said to her I said um, you, you know your barns are clean when None of your sheep are dying, none of your sheep are sick, nobody's getting pneumonia or coughing or limping or anything. Like, dirty conditions will result in sheep getting ill. And yeah, she said our sheep look ragged. Well, they've just had lambs. These are the moms. When you've just had babies, you start to get ragged. And when your wool has been on for a year, it starts to look ragged, just like when uh, your hair grows out and you're waiting for it to go for your hairdresser's appointment. Until the hairdresser fixes your hair, you're going to look a little ragged. But um, we've been waiting for a month for our shearer, and that's totally beyond our control like that that's nature it's not that we're a dirty farm so yeah I don't know why people have to be rude most of the people that come here are amazed at the health of our sheep and how clean it is so I don't know there's just mean-spirited people in the world <laughs> and I should have responded um, I should have said you think our barns are bad you should look at my house <laughs> because <laughs> that's the one that needs dusting and stuff but yeah it hurts your feelings when you work so freaking hard day in day out so here we are putting out the clean bedding like true loyal viewers really know that we do this all the time like way more than most people because we are extremely concerned with our sheep being clean and our sheep are indoor outdoor sheep and they bring the moisture into the barns from being out in the fields and the rain coming in because we have fresh air systems in our barns and they get dirty it's a barn if you saw our, the size of our manure pile you know that that we're con continuously cleaning our barns honestly i'm glad i'm in here right now because she is a humdinger straw down here. I gotta make sure that nobody gets out. 
We don't like the ewes to go out to pasture with their lambs. The lambs are free to go out. But uh, we find that when you put the ewes and lambs out together in the pasture, the lambs are gonna pick up parasites like twice as quick because they get it from the moms. And the moms are more resistant to parasites at this age, when the lambs are this age. Once uh, the lambs are much older, then they can go with the adults as well, and it's no problem. Anyone who watches us all the time knows that our number one concern is sheep health and sheep care and sheep comfort. And the reason that our sheep aren't sparkly white, including the lambs, is we have these little lamb caves. This is made out of metal. It rusts. And the sheep go under there and rub on it so it appears like they're dirty or that we dip our sheep. But that cannot be helped. They're all happy now. Nice clean bedding. Which they would have gotten whether someone commented or not. Because it's something we do on a regular, regular basis. But barns are dusty. See the dust flying around now? When your wool is wet, because see we have curtains, moisture and humidity comes in here, makes your wool damp. The dust from the straw, the dust from the hay, pollen from outside falls on the wool, it's wet, and it lands on it and it looks dirty. They are not dirty. They look, well, they are dirty. <laughs> But if they were outdoor sheep, they would look a lot cleaner because they would just be getting a shower every now and then. But as you know, our sheep are fair weather sheep. They don't come in when it, they come in when it rains. They don't want to go out in the rain. There you guys go. You're looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. But uh, it's good that the sun came out finally after all the rain we've had. They just got bedded up so they have nice fresh straw in here and the sun's come out so they're free to go outside as well, this group of Dorsets. And then you walk in a barnyard which is muddy. That's what a farm is. People who have farms know that. That's why when you see us on YouTube, we're dressed in muddy boots and dirty clothes, ripped clothes, because we don't wear our finest to the barn because it's dirty out here. When you work on a livestock farm especially, it's dirty and just in case anyone's ever missed that we clean out the barns regularly. Just this spring, all of this went to the fields as fertilizer. And now our whole platform is filled with manure. And you know where that comes from? It comes from cleaning out your barns. If this platform was empty, you could say we didn't clean our barns. This is our milk house. It has cobwebs in it. Not an awful lot, but it does. Oh yeah, by the lights and stuff. It's a barn. No animals are in here. And there's straw and footprints and dirt all over the floor because it's a barn. We've made this room look like a, an area. It's a storage area where we keep our meds and we mix bottles and because we have running water in here and it's heated and stuff. But uh, it's not a house, it's a barn. And it's as clean as we can make it. And this is the old barn. We just finished lambing almost 250 ewes all at once. This barn is about 150 years old. 
It's an old dairy barn. There's nobody in it right now because everybody's lambed and they're over at the clean coveralls. Coveralls by far are a much nicer barn. That's why we get our sheep over to the coveralls as quickly as possible because it's a brand, they're brand new buildings. They're open to the air, fresh and clean. Um, there's really not much to get dirty, but in an old barn this age, it's almost impossible to keep them spotless because look at all the nooks and crannies. We got beams and everything is wood and birds come in here and of course spiders and stuff. And then the sheep are in here. So um, right now we just finished lambing. We're waiting to get our sheep sheared. Um, Arnie's cropping. And we got, those are high, high priority things for us. This barn is empty. So by the time we start breeding groups in the fall, this barn will have all been cleaned out, limed, washed down as much as possible. Usually every few years we um, get someone in to spray lime as well. Costs thousands of dollars. Um, but um, it's funny because just this winter we were talking that it's probably time for another spring. So if we can get someone set up this year before the sheep come in, we probably will be um, liming this barn down. In which case, um, this barn will look sparkly white. But I can tell you that by the time lambing's over, it will look like this again. And it doesn't mean that we have dirty conditions or a filthy barn. It's just the innate, like it's how, how farming is. Like it's dampy, it's dusty, it's dark. There's wild creatures come in here and stuff like that. Um, Lots of manure. Like I said, the proof of um, how clean your environment is for your animals is in their health. And I challenge anybody to have healthier sheep than ours because if we have a sick sheep, it's usually from entrapment or age, something age related. It's never, never environmentally caused. We don't have lung problems. We don't have feet problems. We don't have abortion problems. Anything like that, which can be caused by dirty conditions. But right now, it doesn't look that great. But I'll tell you, this barn actually in the wintertime is such a nice barn that it's cozy. Like I often feel like I could sleep here. It's, it's so nice. We have this straw all bedded down and uh, it's really, really cozy. And we've gone out of our way to put in uh, more windows and stuff in here. And yeah, it's just a, it's just a fresh barn. Um, you got to wonder if somebody thinks this is a dirty barn, if they've ever had a barn or animals in a barn. Now, if you came into my house, I would probably <laughs> ask for warning because my house definitely needs dusting like when the shearers come i've spent the entire day before they arrive cleaning my house from top to bottom washing floors and dusting and making sure everything's spotless because i don't want to be that person but when you're a busy person who works 12 hours a day your house definitely gets put on the back burner and everything gets put into the animal welfare. Feeding the sheep tonight here? Just 
gave him a new bale of straw tonight. It's raining so much, so the barns are a little dampy. Yeah, I guess Lynn had a Lynn had a one follower that was following Lynn. And she says, I think it was a she, she said, it's a little hard to wa keep watching us because of the dirty barn and the, and the dirty sheep. I'm not quite sure what the conversation was about. But she said it was a little bit uh, hard to wash us, watch it, keep watching us. And you know what I say to that? I'm going to miss you. Hey boys, time to go in. Come on. Come on, time to go in. It's getting late. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, you had your fun today, Ben, Ben, nah, come on, come on, come on, buddy, come on, hey, nah, please, come on, come on, that's it. This is our little misfit pen. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah, it's the right temperature tonight. I guess it's supposed to go down to um, Plus seven tonight. So yeah, cold. So I was saying the single digits is cool, pretty cool. So, I mean, all the corn's in the ground and most of the corn is up. And some of the corn isn't up yet. It's soaking wet in the fields and at, at plus seven, uh, corn, yeah, it doesn't like that too much, but I mean, uh, it'll be fine. Because I heard on the radio today uh, that it's supposed to warm up every day from now on. So, for the next week, I guess, or something. So, uh, yeah, the corn will be fine. Got the sh shearer coming tomorrow. Hopefully that goes well. We have about 200 views to go through. If he can do it all in one day, which I'm thinking he can't. But we're going to try to. And then we'll have to get... Someone back to do this last group right here to share them off. And then we'll be done that job for this year too. So right now I'm going to close it down and get on with it. Well, thanks for joining us today. Looks like it's turned into a sunny day and it's going to be a great day for shearing. Because we're shearing tomorrow. So be, sh so be sure to stay tuned. Bye for now. <laughs>